Hi, my name is Dan Monahan, and I'm a professor in the Department of Pharmacology and Experimental Neuroscience here at University of Nebraska Medical Center. Uh, I graduated from University of Nebraska in Lincoln about 30 years ago, and at that time decided I wanted to study how the brain works. Um, but what I quickly discovered is that they don't know how the brain works, and that it's very difficult to study. But that is both frustrating and actually very exciting. There's a lot of very important organizing principles of how the brain does work that are still yet to be understood. And when I was a graduate student, one of the important things that wasn't understood was what were the major neurotransmitters in the brain. And if you don't know what the neurotransmitters are, then you can't study many basic functions of how neurons communicate um, and how they change with experience. So I started working on trying to study glutamate receptors, identify them, and see if they're involved in neurotransmission. And I was fortunate in identifying that there were at least three major populations, the so-called AMPA, K8, and NMDA receptors. And these corresponded very well to what electrophysiologists have defined as the subtypes of glutamate receptors. And these have turned out to be very interesting. These receptors mediate a lot of the synaptic plasticity in the CNS, so these are the changes that the brain makes in response to experience. So they underlie different forms of learning and memory and other sort of adaptations um, in the CNS. Unfortunately, if you overactivate these receptors, you can kill brain cells, and that appears to be a, a final common pathway in causing neurodegeneration and cell death in a variety of neuropathological conditions. So one of the objectives that we're trying to do is try to identify compounds that will block some subtypes of NMD receptors um, to block some of the toxic effects and leaving the other NMD receptors intact so there's less disruption of brain function. In addition to being a professor here, I'm also the director of the Biomedical Research Training Program. This is a common entry graduate program where students can enter and during the first year rotate in a variety of different research labs in any of six different graduate programs. Then when they find one that, that most appeals to them, then they can commit to that and then get their formal PhD training in that program. To do this, students have to come in and they receive a fairly rigorous and broad um, graduate curriculum, which then provides them with a pretty basic fundamental understanding of, of all of our graduate programs. Um, there's a very large advantage of doing this. One is that it students have a basic vocabulary and a, and a broad understanding of the related biomedical disciplines. Um, you may not become an expert in all of these different disciplines, but it's very useful to have the, the basic understanding so that you can do multidisciplinary research. And another opportunity that we've created for students is internships in the pharmaceutical industry. So we have had students go off and do research in an industry setting and then that way they can better find out if they like that type of research and also start developing some connections that will help with you know, possible future jobs. Like many of my colleagues, I found a research career to be very exciting and very interesting. Um, it's also a lot of work and a large commitment and it's fairly important for students to find out fairly early on if it is something that that they have a passion for and then that they can put a lot of work into this. It's far too much work if you don't really enjoy it, but it's also very enjoyable for those who find it exciting. So I highly encourage students to do undergraduate research or at least do a summer undergraduate research program and find out what it's like to work in a research lab and see if they get excited by it. Um, and if they're lucky, they might find out that they really enjoy it and they'll have an exciting career if that's the case.